George Orwell's 1945 novel, Animal Farm, depicts walking, talking farm animals on a mission against humans. Fast forward to today's animal farm, that's farm with a PH, where humans aren't the enemies. Instead, humans are pioneering treatment aimed at easing animal suffering, enhancing quality of life, even bringing extinct animal species back to life. Surgery is not an option for an old dog that's got heart problems, that has liver problems, has kidney problems. In the old days it was cortisone. Cortisone is an anti-inflammatory, but it ends up causing uh, erosion of the uh, joints and the cartilage over time. So it really does more harm than good. Now you've got stem cells that are actually repairing the damage that's in there. So this is an alternative for, for us and for the dog and for the owner. So at the beginning, people thought I was crazy, literally crazy. Overall, we have more than, than 17,000 patients treated. The perception in the industry is now becoming not is cell medicine real, would regenerative medicine work? It's so, oh, how do I do this? So it's now we're getting to the how do I do this? How do I implement this in my practice for my patients? So I think it really has changed in the last decade. I think the most important thing to understand is the term regenerative medicine. It applies to any biologic process. So in other words, any way that we can help manipulate normal healing in the horse and try to enhance that healing to provide a kind of biological boost to the healing process. We have a lot of success stories. For instance, our racing horses, we have a lot where they had severe tendon issues, where animals, especially horses, had been written off for insurance purposes meaning expected to be euthanized, where we've been able to save the tendon or save the hoof of the horse. People are passionate about their horses. They don't want to euthanize their horses. And it's not just because they're great racers, it's often because these horses have been long-term members of their family. And they make any attempt to try to save that horse. The Stem Cell Zoo, about uh, 10 years ago, I uh, met an old friend of mine named Oliver Ryder, who happens to be the head of the conservation studies program at the San Diego Wild Animal Park. Oliver and his colleagues before him had been saving skin cells from animals that were becoming extinct, 10,000 of them. And they keep them in a uh, liquid nitrogen freezer so we have started to work on a program to make induced pluripotent stem cells into sperm and eggs, put them together in a culture dish, in vitro fertilization, transplant those embryos to a surrogate mother, essentially recover a species. And this is just the beginning. Even scientists can't predict the progress in 5, 10, and 20 years. Because what was unimaginable yesterday is happening today. All to better the lives of our friends on the modern animal farm.